44 years? Is that, is that really what the number is? That, that sounds too much to me. So I certainly have uh, a lot of memories of Rabbi Soloff just always knowing everything that was going on in camp. There's a rumor that Rabbi Soloff did not sleep when he was the director of the camp. He always seemed to know where everyone was and what was going on anywhere on, on the campus. When I was growing up, there was Mr. Science, and I know that the Supreme Court justices are called Mr. Justice or Ms. Justice. And I sort of think of Rabbi Soloff as Mr. Rama. When I first met David, we went to the overnight camp, Camp Rama in Wisconsin. Uh, my husband was a camp doctor, and I went up with three of our children at that point. There was this huge puddle. It was like a pond uh, by the baseball field. And there were like 40 or 50 campers that, were, that came down to play in this pond, and they were all running all over the place and shoving water on each other and splashing and having a fabulous time. And then one camper spied Rabbi Soloff by the tennis courts and shouted, Rabbi Soloff! And in like 30 seconds, all those kids disappeared and ran to their tzrifim. And it was at that moment that I learned that Rabbi Soloff was this mythical figure that had eyes in the back of his head, that never slept, that knew the name of every camper. Um, and that man, little did I know at that moment, was going to be uh, the person that was mentoring me to become the director of the Ramad Day Camp. When David Soloff was invited to appear before the Camp Ramad Wisconsin Commission, he walked in with Emily, who was uh, very pregnant, and he was in great need of a haircut. Nobody really knew what to make, except that he was so highly recommended. I have to say that it was just something intuitive that I felt. I felt that he would fit right in with this wonderful group of people who had led the camp, and he could do a wonderful job in the future. He was one of the few camp directors who, when asked what their job was, started out by saying, I am an educator. Rabbi Soloff really helped me understand the worth arts brings to Jewish education and the value I could bring to Jewish education by treating me as a Jewish educator, by speaking to me as a Jewish educator, with the idea that I would then have those conversations through art with the campers and staff here at Camper Mom, Wisconsin. On one of my first days in the office, Rabbi Soloff came in, handed me maps of the state of Kansas, Wisconsin, Illinois, and said, if you're gonna be in this job, you need to know the geography. He really has done a great work, job mentoring me, teaching me the landscape of the different communities, um, and I am truly grateful for that. Rabbi Soloff, to me, was somebody that I could really count on in the early years to teach me. Rabbi Soloff was one to say, I want to take you under my wing. I want to show you what camp's all about. When I was here as a camper, I was very competitive. One of the things that he taught me was um, less about winning as an individual, but more winning collectively. Um, this is a very inclusive environment. And I think that's one of the great lessons that I took away from here. Now I'm glad I learned that lesson. And it's, um, it's, it's made me a better person, it's made me a better father, it's made me a better Jew. Personally, that's what Bob did for me. I think the thing that's so fascinating about learning with Rabbi Soloff are the layers upon layers of meaning that um, he teases out and helps me understand. So I'd say that I've learned how to study. Uh, I've learned how to peel back layers upon layers of meaning. Singular. If it were, if it were plural, it wouldn't say Adonai, what would it say? He's kept it very lively and interesting uh, and very, very meaningful. Ramah has been so influential in generations of Jews. Thousands of kids, thousands of young adults who are now older adults, that influence is throughout the Jewish world. The influence that David has had is profound on all of these people. And that influence finds its manifestation 
in Jewish organizations and Jewish communities all over the Jewish world. He has this uh, amazing ability to plant seeds and really see them grow. And sometimes uh, it really is about this tremendous vision. And those seeds that are planted could have been a decade before. He's relied on the community that makes up this magical place. All across the Midwest, uh, from all areas that camp draws from, he's become partners with all of those people. As a collaborator, I remember 17 years ago when I got here, uh, he and I had some very uh, frank conversations about how we tried to do things in Chicago and that I was coming into a group that was really close and worked together towards outcomes and didn't waste time competing against each other um, because it was just too important from a Jewish outcome perspective. Many of the other camps look to Camp Ramon, Wisconsin as sort of the mothership and they know that Rabbi Soloff has guided us and instilled certain values uh, both in staff and in our campers that really stay with people for a lifetime. Rabbi Soloff had the vision to say it's not just for the campers, it's for the staff members, it's for the older staff members and those that are in camp even visiting to educate them to immerse them in, in the very best of Judaism. And his vision never stopped with providing that space to have that happen. I am so appreciative of everything that you did for me and for Ramad Day Camp. I wish you much success in this exciting next chapter of your life. There are thousands and thousands of families and Jews around the Chicago area and around the country, around the world, who are living engaged lives of Jewish meaning thanks to you, thanks to your love for them and for camp. This has been one of the great experiences in my life that I never expected, although it was a magnificent opportunity for me to give back to the camp and there's no way I can thank him adequately for all that he has given me personally as well as a program that we both love. So obviously he's built Ramah into the Ramah we recognize today. Fun, interesting, a big kahila, innovative, and um, we thank you. I personally want to thank Rabbi Soloff for two things. First, for making my job as the executive director very difficult in trying to follow in his august footsteps. And second, for making my job much easier in the coming years because Rabbi Soloff, your leadership and your vision has left camp in such a strong position. You've helped us prepare for the next generation the next generations to be touched and influenced by Camp Ramah in Wisconsin. Tadarabah.